welcome back to the Starfarers of Catan. All right, let's get going here. Uh, green, me, is up first. Uh, and we're going to roll for resources. And I roll a two. That's a pretty strange roll, but it's what it is. Uh, we don't have any twos up here, up here. The only two on the board is beside me uh, and blue, which is a non-player. So I get one ore, and that's it. So good for me. Um, and because I have less than seven victory points, I get two extra resources. Wow, two trade goods. All right. Uh, so to quickly take a look at what I have, I have uh, three ores, a fuel, a carbon, and two trade goods. Uh, and I have no ships, so I should start building some. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to take a look and see what I want to build. All right, so what I'm going to start off with, uh, with my hand, is I'm going to take the two ore and I'm going to buy myself another freight ring. Uh, so that's going to bring my freight ring total here up to three on my ship, which is great. I have a booster, just to let you know. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to buy with the rest of my resources, uh, with two uh, trade goods, a fuel, and an ore, uh, if we take a look here, that is enough for me to buy a trade ship. And that's exactly what I need. Uh, that's going to leave me with one carbon left over. And that's okay. And of course you can see I'm not trading anybody this time. And so I'm going to take uh, my trade ship. And I have a star base or a spaceport up here now. So I can put this ship adjacent to either this star base or this one. And obviously I'm going to place it here. All right. So that's it for the trading uh, and ore and buying stuff. Now we have to determine how far I go or whether I get an encounter. And yes, it's a black ball. I'm getting an encounter, and encounters are generally never very good. <laughs> All right, and the encounter we get here is a space pirate attacks you. Do you flee? Do I flee? Um, yes, yes, I'll flee. It says, does the player to your left have more boosters than you? Well, no, we all have one booster, so that's no. Uh, you escape. Wow, so that was kind of a non-event. Uh, I escaped. Phew, that's great. Um, and so now I have a base movement of three. I have one booster, so I can move my ship three spaces. So I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to readjust the camera, and then we're going to move, because uh, we've got some extra stuff that's going to happen. All right, so I have a base movement of three. And, of course, you can move through other people's ships. So that's uh, Craig's trade ship and... Too bad, Craig. You lose. One, two, three. I'm landing on the first space uh, of this alien base, and I am building a trade center. And what that does now uh, is I get to claim the alien's token. This is going to be worth two victory points as long as I keep a hold of it. Uh, and so my victory point total is going to go from six right up to eight. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, four more win the game. And I also now get to pick one of the four cards uh, that is at the base. And they're basically, this uh, trader lets you cash in, say, two carbon for one of anything else, two or one anything else, fuel, grain, or you can trade in trade goods one for one instead of two for one. So I'm going to go ahead and take the trade good uh, card. Uh, and now I have that ability for the rest of the game. Uh, it can never be taken away from me. Uh, and that means I can trade in any trade good for any one of anything else. So that gives me a little bit of a benefit uh, for having a trade station with that alien race, the merchants. All right, that is going to conclude my turn. Uh, over now to Craig, who's probably pretty annoyed with me uh, because he cannot now have a trade center there. Well, he could go to number two, but he needs two freight rings. All right, let's do Craig's turn. All right, Craig's turn. He's going to roll for resources. He rolls a four. Uh, we have a four here, uh, so Talos is going to collect one fuel. So we're going to give the fuel. Talos, uh, no fours here, and there's another four right at the corner here. I don't know if you quite see that. And um, I think, yes, that's the only other four. It's only adjacent to Craig. Craig is going to get one food. Now, of course, uh, Craig has less than seven victory points, so he gets two cards from the bank to add to his total and now it is time for him to decide what to do and he doesn't have very many cards uh, so his decision's pretty simple um, he actually has two ore and so he's going to cash in the two ore 
get himself a freight ring uh, and he's going to put his freight ring on his ship. So now he has a cannon, a booster, and a freight ring. Now we have to see if he has any encounters or not. And he doesn't have any encounters. He gets a red ball and a blue ball. Uh, so if we look at the red and the blue, it's going to be 3, 4, and he has one booster, giving him a total speed of 5. Uh, and so with 5, he's going to move his first ship here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, out into space. And I'm just going to move up a little bit here. He is going to take um, his trade ship. He can't go to the number 2 spot because he only has one freight ring, but he can move it five spaces. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. So he's going to head out this way. So he's bypassing the merchant, I guess, or maybe he's going to double back if he gets another freight ring. We're not sure. But anyway, up next will be a Talos. All right, so here we have a Talos, and it is now his turn to move. All right, it's so going to roll for resources first. He rolls an 11. Wow, there's actually a there's two 11s on the board. The first 11 is up here next to Craig. He's going to get uh, a trade good because that is a trade good world. So Craig scoops that. Uh, the only other 11 is down here and that is next to Craig and Talos and they both get one fuel. Uh, so again, Craig uh, scooping things. So that's a fuel for Craig, a fuel for Talos. And Talos has less than seven victory points. He is going to collect two extra resources. All right. Um, Talos has one trade ship here. Uh, and so he's going to be able to roll for an encounter after he does buying and or trading. So let's have a... He's going to take a look at his cards and see what he wants to do. All right. So the only thing Talos is going to do, he doesn't want to trade with anyone, but he's going to take the two fuel and he's going to buy a booster. So now that gives his ship two boosters. Uh, he is the most of anyone. Uh, Craig and I both have one. He has two boosters. And now he's going to roll and see if he has an encounter or just moves. And black ball means an encounter. So we're going to take the, of course, top card off the encounter deck. Uh, and he has to decide what he wants to do. And it says, you see a starship being attacked by pirates. Do you come to their rescue? Uh, yeah, yeah, he says, okay, all right, I'll go do it. You must fight. The second player to your right uh, on the roll of, takes on the role of the pirates. You must each roll your starships and uh, add your cannons. Is the other player stronger? Well, everyone has uh, one, actually. Uh, it's going to be me second from the right, and I don't have any cannons, so, well, we're going to see what happens. Talos gets a, wow, a red and a blue is three, four, plus one is five. Best I can do is tie them, uh, and that is a no. I get a three. So, Talos wins the fight, and by winning the fight, uh, let's take a look here. It says, uh, is the other player stronger? That's a no. So Talos gets a victory. You rescue a merchant. You receive two trade goods, uh, trade goods, resources, and a fame ring. Wow. Okay, that's really good for Talos. Uh, so he's going to collect two resource, uh, trade goods, and a fame ring. And he has three fame rings. Adding one more fame ring, of course, is going to bring him to four, which is going to claim him one more victory point. All right, for him. So he's going to go from six victory points up to seven. So he's at seven victory points. Uh, and Craig is at five. So that uh, is basically, now it is uh, time, of course, to move ships. So he has a base movement of three. He has two boosters. All right, so... Uh, Talos can move his one ship a total of five spaces. And so he is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and scoot along the outside here. Of course, he's probably heading for up to one of the two bases, alien bases up this side. All right. Well, that is going to conclude this episode of the Starfarers of Catan. Uh, so right now, Craig is sitting at five points. Talos is at seven points, and I am at eight points. 
Uh, and yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Join me next time for another episode of the Starfarers of Catan. We're playing a full three-player game. Uh, well, not quite full. We're playing to 12 points instead of the total of 15 uh, because the game will go on much too long if we leave it for 15 points. All right, again, thanks so much for watching and join me next time.